Uh, first, I want to talk about some science and research stuff. So this first one I want to talk about is on, was on vapingpost.com. They talked about a study in Scotland. This one is supposedly the first study to be carried out about vaping during pregnancy. The reason I say supposedly is because I know that there was someone that was supposed to be doing a study soon on the same exact subject. And I, I tried to find it in my notes uh, on my website because I thought I, I might have talked about it in a previous episode. And I guess I didn't because I didn't find anything. But I know someone was going to do a study. I did, But it wasn't going to happen until next year. It might actually be the same study. I don't know. But anyway, so this one is being put on by the UK Center for Tobacco and Alcohol Studies. And that is a network of 13 universities. They will be recruiting several hundred women for the study and it will be carried out next year in 2017. The researchers plan to monitor whether vaping can aid smoking pregnant women who are struggling to quit smoking. Their babies are also going to be monitored and assessed up until the age of two to determine whether these children were exposed to any harm and how vaping might have affected their development. Linda Bald, who is the professor of health policy at the University of Stirling and deputy director of the UK Center for Tobacco and Alcohol Studies, has said that there has not been enough effort to aid certain adult groups such as prisoners and pregnant women to quit smoking and this is the first trial of its kind. Linda Bald also mentioned that nicotine replacement therapies or NRTs are routinely given to pregnant women and the same will be happening in this study. Several hundreds of pregnant women will be given NRTs and some of them will be electronic cigarettes and this is all going to be randomly. The researchers will then assess which is the most effective at helping them quit, the method safety, and which method of NRT those subjects prefer. So really cool study and I can't wait to see the results of that one.